Hello, this capsule will show you how to prepare for administering your antibiotics. You're watching this video today because your doctor has prescribed intravenous antibiotics to treat an infection. To continue your treatment at home safely and effectively, there are a few technical details you'll have to become familiar with. You'll be able to carry on with your usual activities in spite of the treatment prescribed. However, certain precautions must be taken to keep the intravenous catheter clean and firmly in place. Avoid contact sports and rambunctious activities with children. Do not pull on the catheter and tubing. Avoid using scissors or sharp or hot objects anywhere near the tubing. Do not pull or rub the skin close to the dressing. Do not remove the dressing at the insertion site. If you have a pet, keep it away from the catheter. The CHUS's pharmacy will provide you with the antibiotics and material needed for your treatment at home for the first 48 hours. Then, your designated community pharmacy will take over and provide you with the antibiotics, saline solution syringes, alcohol swabs, and tape. You'll have to pick up these supplies unless you make arrangements for delivery with your pharmacy. Most antibiotics are covered by the Régie d'Assurance Maladie du Québec and your personal insurance. For more information on this matter, please speak with your nurse. The antibiotics and saline solution, if your treatment includes it, must be stored in the refrigerator. We recommended placing them in an airtight container to avoid contamination with food. Prior to your scheduled treatment, you must remove everything you need from the refrigerator. To determine the time interval required, check the capsule on your administration method. Your antibiotics must be administered at regular intervals. It's very important to follow the schedule as planned to ensure the treatment will be effective. It's important to choose a quiet area where you'll be alone or with the person who will be administrating the antibiotics for you. There should be no pets nearby. It's also crucial that no one talk, blow or cough in the direction of your supplies. Your work surface must be solid and provide ample space to work. Therefore, we recommend avoiding the bathroom and suggest instead either an office or a bedroom. Wash the surface chosen with soapy water and a clean cloth. Rinse with water and let dry. Before administering the antibiotics, it's important to gather and check the supplies needed. These vary according to the administration method established. Details will be provided in the capsules to follow. We will repeatedly insist on washing your hands since this is a crucial step. Start by removing your jewelry. Check that your fingernails are clean. Pull up your sleeves. Have paper towels or a clean towel close by. Wet your hands. Add soap. Rub your hands together in a circular motion for two minutes. Start with your palms, then the backs of your hands, fingers, between fingers, fingernails, and wrists. Rinse from your fingertips towards your wrists without rubbing. Dry your hands with paper towels or a clean towel. Turn off the taps using the towel. You may also wash your hands using an antiseptic gel sold in pharmacies if there is no visible dirt on them. Once your hands are clean, avoid touching other objects. Mm -hmm. 